This is what I call a pizza tart. Very easy to make and the base is made from puff pastry. So I'm using a rolled out puff pastry, but you can use ready rolled. When you roll out pastry, you must let it rest in the fridge. This is an eight inch ring tin. And what you do is just simply cut this out. Using the point of the knife, we're gonna cut two of them out of the puff pastry. So just take your time when you're peeling this off. No, very fragile. Over here, I have a baking sheet. And this is a paper that I use a lot, parchment paper. Nothing will stick to this, it's fantastic. So that's our puff pastry. And then with a fork, we're gonna prick just the top of the pastry. So puff pastry is made of lots of layers. It's one of the, probably the most difficult pastries, you know, to make, to be truthful with you. If you can buy the one made in butter, by far the best. That's much nicer to eat. What you're doing here is you're just preventing it from rising too much. So we're going to bake this off at 190. And that takes 10 to 15 minutes until it's golden and brown. Now, meanwhile, I'm going to prepare my vegetables for the topping for the pizza tart. So I'm just using half a red pepper. Remove the seeds. And we're going to cut this into little strips. This is known as julienne. Thin little strips. Curve your fingers back when you're doing this and use a large chef's knife. Now we have some courgettes. So really you can use any kind of seasonal vegetable. Slice the courgettes nice and thin. Just take your time when you're getting near the end of them. Now, that's nice and thinly sliced. So I'm going to heat my pan and we're going to cook it in some olive oil and some butter. So we're going to saute the vegetables or sweat them off. And a little bit of butter. So the oil will stop the butter from burning. If you were to use butter on its own, it burns very quickly. We're using some mushrooms. These are some sliced mushroom and some red onions, nice and sweet. Just slice them nice and thinly like that. So it's nice and melted and hot. In goes our red onion, our mushrooms, and then our courgettes and red peppers. Make sure you use a nice deep pan for this, or you can cook it in a wok, whatever's easy. After about two or three minutes, this is what it looks like. Nicely sorted. We still kept the texture of the vegetables, very important. We just want to let it slightly cool down. It smells are lovely. You know, we don't want it too hot going on top of the puff pizza. I'm using the Kaluni cheese. This is the star of the show. Slice the cheese, bring it to room temperature. We're going to put three slices of the cheese on top of the pizza. That's done there. Now, I have some grated parmesan, which I'm going to sprinkle into my vegetables. So that's already pre-grated. And then we just give this a good mix. So the vegetables are warm, so they'll kind of melt the parmesan straight away. Take the pastry out of the oven. It's puffed up. That looks great. And the parchment paper, nothing will stick to it. Honestly, it's fantastic. We're going to brush the top of the puff pastry with some egg yolk. Now this actually helps seal in the puff pastry. It stops any of the juices soaking into it. And then for our vegetables. Simply arrange them on top. Spread them right out to the edge. And the last thing you have to do, put on the cheese. So these are the thin slices. The favorite cheese of mine, the Kaluni cheese. As soon as the cheese hits the vegetables, it'll begin to melt and soften. This needs to go back into your oven just to melt the cheese, warm everything through for about 10 minutes. looks and smells fantastic. Slightly golden brown, and that's the egg yolk that we brushed on the pastry. Carefully lift this, just using a little fish slice, onto the center of the plate. And you can see all the layers. You see, puff pastry is made with what we call a lamination process, so it's made of lots of different layers. So it's one of the trickiest pastries to make, but it's lovely and light to eat. So just get little sprigs of basil. It works really well with the vegetables and the cheese. And this is a really light dish that you can enjoy for lunch or even a picnic. It's a real winner on the menu. It's the puff pizza tart with Irish cheese.